you have faced at a point of time and I have recently faced like there comes a phase in this course because there are 30 levels right yeah. and no one is superman or god level that uh, they are able to qualify all the 13 exams at a one go like there are people but talking about an average student so the, 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 uh, there was a point of time that you felt and I also felt that have I done something wrong or have I applied that uh, wrong strategy in my life uh, so when you see around everyone that they are getting a good job and they are able to crack the exams in one go so how did you deal with that situation? Yes. So I think introspection is very important um, just trying to understand what are your weaknesses why was it that you could not clear that exam and um, understanding what you can do better in your next term so it, it's also good to learn from uh, others see what right they are doing which you might not have done but at the same time I think don't follow anyone blindly their study strategy, their approach and their perspective might be very different so for example when I was uh, uh, giving my exams alongside job most of my uh, peers they used to study early in the morning but I, I even tried that but it did not work for me I would just go to my office and sleep instead of studying so I have always been a night owl so I always prefer st uh, studying late at night so figure out what works good for you so I think that introspection is important uh, about uh, so yeah so just don't follow anyone uh, blindly uh, do definitely get advice from your seniors from your teacher and from others out there um, to see where you can improve and just uh, work on those weaknesses okay so uh, talking about your uh, personal life that uh, there was a term in which you scored uh, consecutive like in one con single term you scored two all India rank one and then next attempt you failed from IA and then again uh, you basically scored one of the highest uh, in the exams right so hope is very important that I have learned from your personal journey and so how did you basically uh, keep your mind stabilized uh, in times of peaks and valleys like uh, that point of time and uh, basically that was a value for you because uh, you just uh, scored all in the rank and then you so you see that f in your mark sheet so how do uh, we deal with those kinds of situations so um, i'm failing an exam right after scoring all in rank one that too right after i had written like a lengthy linkedin post about how to approach exams it was definitely an ouch moment uh, and i think uh, yes you need to just take some time and uh, Think about you know how you want to approach it. Um, think about what you can do next. Uh, have that uh, kind of perspective uh, thing in your mind that uh, what you can do better next time. So I just uh, yeah, so the uh, the good thing was that I was mentally prepared for that result, and um, so I'd already like thought about it that if I do not clear it, how will I uh, prepare for it in the next term? Which other paper I want might want to club it with? Um, and then again, as I said. Think about the weaker areas or like where you could have prepared more, was it a time management issue or something like that and work on that so that the next time you can ace it with flying colors and my personal rule has always been to not skip, skip an attempt even if I couldn't prepare well so I think that's what happened that time as well so uh, it definitely not a regret that I appeared for that attempt or anything. Uh, I'm sure I learned something out of it so I think we should all see it as like a learning uh, point instead of as a failure.